Hey everybody, what's going on? Zerfell Rose here. Coming to you with some Go Battle League content. We're talking about the season of interlude. Interlude season. What are you going to call it? So this is basically what season 11 is. Um, I've been holding off on this video uh, because I don't want to talk about a three paragraph blog post. I wanted to wait for the full schedule to come out. Give my thoughts about the season and all that fun stuff. So um, let's kind of let's kind of go through this blog post, right? So we already know that the season will be unrated, and they're going to be focusing on working on fixes, as we talked about previously in the uh, in the uh, Dev Diary video, which we can leave a link to the description in that if you want to check that out. It was a good little insight into the way that they want to fix the game and improve it. So I think that was pretty awesome to see. Um, but the season of interlude, we've got a full schedule. We've still got rewards. We've basically got everything a normal season would have except for ELO and anything above rank 20. So, um, we're going to go into this. And again, this is basically the, um, just, there's no rating because they're like, again, we're looking to fix the game, looking to fix PVP. And so they're going to try and give us more incentive to play while they test things for the season. And by, by the time next season rolls around, we should be in a good place to continue playing. Uh, competitively, ELO will be back. So let's see what, what they've got in store for us this season. Now, they, again, they have realigned the seasons for Go Battle League instead of it being you know the Monday to Monday thing. Now they're actually aligning them to the seasons themselves. So our season of interlude will begin tomorrow as of recording this. Might be today, depending on when I get this up on YouTube here. But it starts Tuesday, March 1st at 1 p.m. PST. 4 p.m. EST, 3 p.m. CST, and anything beyond that, I don't know the brain capacity at this point in the night to do. <laughs> but that's going to last all the way until Wednesday, June 1st, at that same time. So, Niantic time. Usually whenever they drop their blogs, uh, that's usually when we get that uh, when we get that stuff to roll over. So, uh, again, end of season rewards. Remember to pop a star piece before you open the battle screen on the 1st before you know it rolls over and before you claim those battle rewards pop a star piece because they may still give us the boosted dust from last season and the season before you could get up to 300,000 stardust if you were a legend um and i think it was like 150,000 before they boosted it but nonetheless it's still a lot of dust so pop a star piece beforehand um and just make sure you get as much dust as you can because we all need it uh go battle league re link rank will be reset Rank requirements are the same as they were in Season 10, and we cap at 20. So the wins needed to get to Rank 20 are still going to remain the same. So take it easy this season, man. We're focusing on remastering the mechanics. We're focusing on having some fun. And I'm going to get into my to-do list after we get through this and my kind of closing thoughts, right? So the season schedule, we're going to have one week rotations which i like i think that's going to keep things fresh because honestly after the first week of a of a cup i'm just like oh when is this gonna end can i play anything else yet that's pretty much where i end up so i'm kind of i'm kind of digging the one week rotations i kind of always have thought that would be a good idea but they've never actually done it so i'm just like whatever i'm just gonna take it as it comes but the uh the johto cup is making an immediate return in the first week of the season along with the open great league we're gonna get the ultra league the week after that with ultra premier classic i like ultra premier classic it's one of my favorite metas so it's kind of cool to see it come back right away uh the master league and love cup come up and we get the triple stardust from win rewards spoiler alert they're not bringing back the uh, end of set rewards it doesn't look like they ever will which is really unfortunate because that was probably the best reward structure they've ever had because i got millions of dust the one season they did it and i loved it but um also another spoiler alert we don't have master league classic this season so don't uh, don't go off and build your new Ho-Ohs or don't go off and build anything that you're going to use for Master League Classic quite yet because it's not going to be here this season. So if you're not looking to build it, unless you just want to get it out of the way and build it, that's fine too. I do that. I do that when I get enough dust, I just build things. So um, Love Cup's coming back. It feels like they're kind of like going backwards in a way. Um, so Great League and Little Jungle Cup are going to be our fourth rotation. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Little Cups, ew. And then we have the Ultra League and Catch Cup, where I just may, I straight up may just take this week off. I'm not playing Catch Cup, and I'm not really fond of the Open Ultra League for the most part. It's just the games take too long, and uh, I'm the Catch Cup, no. Um, we get the Master League, then followed by the Halloween Cup with another Triple Stardust rotation. Then we'll have the Great League and Little Cup, just the Little Cup, Bronze or Little Cup, except Bronze has payback this time, so it won't be as bad, but still. I hate little cups. I don't build things for little cups. I'm not doing it. Ultra League and Retro Cup. My favorite meta comes back. 
on April 19th through the 26th. And then the 26th through the 3rd, we have the Master League and the return of the Chansey Cup. And then we've got the Flying Cup. You may not remember this cup. The Flying Cup debuted as our first limited meta back in, I think, Season 4. For the first Go Battle Night we've ever had. And it's got a, literally a, a meta of like 5 to 10 things. So, yeah. <laughs> but it, it was a lot of fun, and the battles were kind of quick. It was like Altaria, Skarmory, Mantine, Zapdos, and Aerodactyl, and that was literally the meta. So, fun. Um, Ultra League and Element Cup are going to make their return again at the near the end of the season. Then we're going to get the Master League and Master League Premier Classic. This is the only time we get Master League Premier Classic. We get it for a week. Like, come on. We don't want Master League open. Uh, look, I, I, I completely understand if you want to use the XLs that you, you grinded for and paid money for, and I'm all in for that. I don't do it personally, but if you did, that's I applaud you, and I think that you should be able to play whichever Master League you want. But we should be getting the Master League Classic for those of us that don't want to put all that money into XLs and put all the money into rates. So I wish that they would have put Master League Classic in here at least once or twice. Um, and then at the very last week of the season, we get all three leagues open, no special cups, but looks like they're bringing back pretty much every limited meta we've had. So the next bit here is about a timed research ticket. Now this screams battle pass to me almost like what they've got is they've got a research ticket this one is for free but it sounds like they're probably going to make them paid for the upcoming seasons after this and what they do is they're going to give you stardust they're going to give you more um i mean i just see stardust so maybe it gives us stardust i would like start i like stardust we'll see what it does we'll see if it's worth maybe paying for later on uh, but for right now it's going to be free and we'll just get free stardust so i'm okay with that um so the go battle days I think there's like there's still only three of them i think um but the first one is going to almost be a pseudo community day almost. you're not going to get seal in the wild but if you've got one you've been holding on to to elite tm save your elite tms on march 5th so that's this saturday any time during the day from midnight to 11 59 pm you can evolve your seal and it will get ice shard and it will get icy wind it'll be the double legacy dugong you always wish you had and now you can have it and you don't need the elite TMs. And those of us who put elite TMs into it are weeping in our souls right now because we're not gonna get those TMs back. But you know what? It's fine. It's all right. Accessibility is nice. And I appreciate when they do things like this, even if I already have it. Um, we are going to get end of set avatar rewards. So if you complete one set during any of these go battle days, you will get a different Gladion avatar item. The first one will yield the shoes. And just to be clear, Great League and Johto League will be open during this Go Battle Day. The next Go Battle Day is on April 17th, and this bonus is instead of giving us a Dugong or anything else with an uh, evolved move, this one's going to give us a large amount of XP from timed research. So, don't know what large, probably like 10k, I don't know. I don't know what that means to them, but um, we're going to be able to get the Great League and Little Cup from this one, and it's going to give us the Gladion hoodie if we complete a set. Now, the last one is called the Mega Stardust Surprise. Emphasis on the Mega. I'm always happy for Stardust. I love Stardust. I grind for it every day and I never have enough. So if you want to give me Stardust, I'm always happy about that. Um, you get four times Stardust from win rewards, which is not during any of these other Go Battle Days, which is actually unusual because we used to get go, uh, four times Stardust for all of them. So, we only get it for one. So if you're looking to grind Stardust, this is the only day you're going to get Boosted Dust. And we also get a Mega Surprise. I have a feeling they're going to throw Megas in the Go Battle Day or some. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. I don't have Megas. I'm not putting them in GBL. Um, but it's going to be during all three open leagues. And if you play, you're going to get Gladion's pants. Apparently he lost them somewhere. He's been running around without them. And now we get to keep his pants. Um, so <laughs> you get the Season Rank Up Rewards. So we've got Crobat for the guaranteed rank one because Gladion uses Crobat. And Pikachu Libre, non-shiny locked. You cannot get shiny Libre this season, which is a good thing because those of you know those who actually get Legend every season were kind of hoping that people wouldn't be able to get a crack at shiny Libre because that's it's kind of like one of those like you earned it kind of things. You know, if you got a shiny Libre, it means you hit Legend and you actually grinded for it rather than just hitting rank 20. And I'm totally down for like people who want to get Shiny Libre that can't quite get to Legend. But 
I, I mean, there's got to be a give and take here. You're getting a Pikachu Libre. I think this is only the second, maybe the third time. I think it's only the second time that it's been publicly easily able to be obtained. So, um, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so standard encounters. Rank 1 encounters include Clefairy, Mischievous, Metatite, Drober, Picky Peck, and Young Goose. And um, Picky Peck and Young Goose are going to be the new Alolan Pokemon coming out. Uh, Picky Peck actually is kind of decent for PvP, it looks like, based on the moveset. So um, those I would be looking to grab. Young Goose is awful. Moveset's awful. Don't need no. No. Um, rank 6 includes Porygon, Manfu, Rowlet, Litten, and Popplio. Uh, Litten is probably the only uh, good moveset, but Pulplio can be uh, take it can take advantage of those boosted IVs because Master League Primarina is actually not horrible. Um, Phoebus, Cranidos, Frillish, and Phantom make up the 11 plus range, and I really love that they're putting Phantom in here because Phantom Trevenant. Look, I'm gonna talk about it, right? And this is actually gonna be something I cover in a future video. I'm gonna start doing some extra videos this season. Um, Talk, some of them talking about kind of things you can build and be efficient with, um, especially in the Ultra League version that I do. Where Phantom, if you, if you get if you get a non XL Trevenant, it's almost just as good as the XL Trevenant, but you save a ton of dust, and it's good in two different versions of Ultra League. So um, I love that they're putting Phantom in here because the good IV spreads are usually in the 10 to 15 range. So awesome. Uh, Larvitar, Scraggy, Rufflet, and Rock Ruff all make up the 16 plus category, whereas Rock Ruff is spicy new stuff, and uh, Lycan Rock Midnight has a really nice move set. And then once you hit rank 20 plus, you have a chance to hit the five star raid boss up in the encounter pool. So that's kind of neat. And there's shinies of most of these actually. You get shiny, shiny Cryonidos would be kind of cool. I don't have one. I love one. Um, shiny Larvitar, Shiny Rufflet, Shiny Rock Ruff for all you Shiny Hunters, Shiny Feebash, Shiny Young Goose, Shiny Porygon, um, and the Metatite, Mr. and Prefer, you can all be Shiny too, which is kind of cool. Um, if you don't have the Pikachu Library outfit, you can get it once you hit rank 3. And anyone who hits rank 20 will get the entire Glenion outfit and pose. And that's a pretty awesome pose, dude. Like, I saw the pose and that was lit, all right? I don't mind as much the outfit. I'm kind of mad. I don't know if I want to take my suit off. I like my Lissandra suit. But the outfit's pretty neat, and the pose is dope. And we get both an Elite Charge and Fast TM. No. Elite Charge TM when you hit rank 19, Elite Fast TM at the end of the season. They, they got me. They almost got me. All right. Um, and then if you've already got, you know, if you've participated in Go Battle Day and you already have the Gladion piece, you don't get it a second time. Likewise, if you've already got it from hitting rank 20, you also don't get it um, from hitting rank 20. So, or you get it. You can't get it. To, you can't get it duplicate times. You get it. Um, this is kind of just in information about the cups. I'll breeze through them. We all know Great League. We all know Ultra League. Ultra Premier Classic is just anything in the Ultra category that is not mythical, leg mythical, legendary, or required XL candies. Master League is we know Master League. Master League Premier Classic is basically no XLs, no legendaries, no you know no mythicals. Johto Cup is, as we have just had, anything with a Johto Dex number. Love Cup is anything red and pink. No, no, no legendaries or mythicals allowed. Little Jungle Cup is anything under 500 CP. And you can include the normal Grass, Electric, Poison, Ground, Flying Bug, and Dark-type Pokemon. And you cannot bring Shuckle and Smurgle because they would be OP. Uh, the Catch Cup, anything that is caught during the duration of the cup, which I actually think is a mistake. I think it should be a duration of the season um, because it's one week long. I'm not going to go catch anything during that week and build it unless it's like a rank one super you know, good thing like no no and you can't bring mythicals either halloween cup we all know halloween cup that's poison bug ghost dark and berry types under 1500 cp retro cup the mvp meta that i love so much that's actually there's uh meta that i first hit legend in that's probably why i love it so much um but anything under 1500 that is not a steel dark or fairy type so basically the original i think was it 15 types um, Kanto Cup, anything from 100 or 1 to 151 in the Kanto decks can be used as well as their own forms. Flying Cup is anything that has a flying type and is below 1500. Little Cup is literally anything under 500 that can evolve. Um, and it's a first like level. You can't put in like a second tier or first tier evolution, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the Element Cup is anything under 500 that is fire, grass, and water types. And only Pokemon that are able to evolve and have not evolved even once are eligible. So it sounds like they're going to be allowing... Um, I can't tell if they're going to be allowing things that don't evolve. Like Stunfisk? I don't know. 
I don't know. But anyway, that's basically the end of that. So what is this season? What are you doing this season, Zara? What are you doing this season? So literally, not a goddamn thing. I'm going to play my battles. I'm going to get my rewards. I'm going to enjoy the game. I'm going to test out as much as I can about the, the, you know, the fixes that they're putting out. And I'm going to be helping people with that as well. I am... I coach, right? So I have a Patreon. It link is in the, the video, in the Discord, in the description. You get access to my Discord. I do coaching, and it's good. This is this is the season where if you want to get coaching, do it this season. Your rating doesn't matter, and you're going to be able to get so much more out of the coaching session. You can do it with anybody. Find your favorite content creator. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anybody, um, as long as they offer coaching and are willing to do it. Um, there's plenty of people out there that do it, um, but. Like, this is the season to get that in because your rating doesn't matter and you're going to be able to get much more out of it when the game is working properly rather than a coaching, you know, a session getting ruined by lag or things just not going the right way. So this is going to be the time to do it. Find your favorite content creator. If you need coaching or want coaching or interested in coaching, ask the question now. Because once competitive play comes back in the next season, you're going to be much more competitive you're going to be elo you know you're going to want that elo it's going to be good to hit the ground running with more information and knowledge then than waiting until later so between that and also what are you building uh nothing so here here's my plan so right like i'm not going to go out of my way to build anything for any of these cups at all unless i'm really bored and i feel like building something cheap and spicy like i'm not going to go build anything for flying cup i'm not going to go build anything for these little cups i'm not going to go build anything for any cup literally at all what I'm doing is I'm focusing on grinding my Stardust like usual, and I'm going to actually start working on some of my longer-term projects. I've got an XL Azu, an XL Bastion, and an XL Medicham that have all been burning, you know, burning room in my in my inventory that have been waiting to be built. And I might be able, I might be willing to burn the dust on something like that this season. Something that's like a staple that's going to be good, especially in competitive. Like when we go to, you know, regionals, things that's going to help me in regionals, specifically Great League things, right? Like, I don't mind building a Master League um, staple, but like, I'm not going to use it this season whatsoever. And I think that my my dust is better spent on trying to get into the Great League stuff that I need still. Um, and then also just like some some long-term projects. Like, um, I best buddied my, my Hundo Olo and Shanshrew, but I haven't, you know, powered it up. Um... I could finish that. I could finish my Wobbuffet that I've got. Like, I've got a bunch of different things that like, are ready but need Stardust. And this is the kind of the season to do that. Or you could just not build anything, hoard all the Stardust you can get this season, and dump it into other things later when you're ready and you know what you want to build. It's This is no pressure right here. Just enjoy the game. Try to try to get used to the way that things are going to work and get the knowledge you can. That's That's really it. And this isn't even this isn't even like telling you to come and sub to me. I would love it if you'd sub to me because it's helping me and my family. But um, you guys are free to pursue the knowledge however is best for you. And you can definitely look forward to some more informational videos to help you on this channel this coming season as well as some battle content. I'm not going to lie, I've got some excellent battles queued up for this Friday. They're not mine, but man, were they good. Um... So I just want you guys to look forward to that. Look forward to the season. I know that no ELO is kind of a weird thing, uh, but you know, this is what we asked him for. Take the game down or make it a season where it doesn't matter and then fix the game. So here's where we're at. We're gonna hope that everything from here is better. And this game, dude, this game is gonna take the heck off when we get the game working. It's gonna be so big. People are gonna come flocking back to the game. This PVP scene is gonna get huge. And you know, I'm just saying, man, if you can get somebody to get you in the know, get you that knowledge, subscribe to that Patreon. Speaking of my Patreons, guys, thanks so much for your support. I couldn't do this without you. I'm going to sign off for this video. I hope you have a great Season 11, Interlude Season, whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the comments uh, what you're excited for this season. Uh, sub to the channel if you'd like to see any of the content that I talked about or anything else like this. And, you know, like the video if you think it was cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.